there, how are you today? It's Jody from Goldilocks Academy and I love helping business owners get their Facebook marketing just right. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in your part of the world. And today we're going to be talking about Facebook like ads. Yeah, there's a bit of controversy about those because a lot of people will just dismiss them as saying that they're a vanity metric, right? Why would I want to buy likes? Well, once upon a time, people used to spend, and I think they still do, which is really silly, people used to spend some money going to places like Fiverr and giving them five bucks and getting a thousand likes, okay? And it was just, I was gonna say CRAP, but they were just bad, okay? It's bad, they're not quality, they're not, you know, that is, that's not what we're talking about with, you know, buying likes at all. We're investing into Facebook like ads. Okay, and this is what is different because when you're doing it that other way, that's just bad. That's getting, you know, not targeted traffic, just bots and just crap on your page, okay? And it's going to be actually not good for you in the long run because it's not gonna create an engaged page, which is what we're doing with our like ads. So a lot of people would actually think that, you know, it's putting money behind like ads, eh, that's just a vanity metric, okay? That's just to make your page look good. Uh, well, Facebook love to, let's look at it, Facebook love to keep people on their platform. So if you're doing like ads, that's one way of keeping them on the platform, okay? So they come and like your page. Then people would complain that, oh, Facebook aren't showing my posts to anybody. What, do I have to pay to get it in front of my audience now? Well, yeah, sometimes you do. But there's very effective ways of doing that with your page engagement um, uh, selection of the ads, okay? Even just boosting a post to fans of your page. And when it's just costing you like half a cent, okay, it can go a long way. If people will like it and share it, your fans will like it and share it. It'll go to their friends, all their, you know, hundreds of friends on Facebook. And you've got a huge organic reach. So investing into like ads, you're building an audience on your page, an engaged audience, okay, a targeted audience. You're doing your research, you're going, okay, the people that I want on my page like these sorts of pages. They would be my ideal client. I'm going to invite them to come along and like my page as well. So you do your like ad, they like it, and they come and like your page and start engaging with your posts. And then, as I said, people are going to like it, share it, and it gets out to all their friends. Now, granted, it is rented space. What we ideally want to do is to get people from our Facebook page over onto our email list. That's something that we own and we can communicate and we can talk with them anytime we like and we don't have to pay for any more ads, okay? For those who are having ad hangups, get them from Facebook, onto our email list, but you've got to develop a relationship. Because I don't know about you, but how many times a day do you see things coming up in your newsfeed saying, you know, sign up here, sign up here, sign up here, and you don't know who they are. You sign up and then your inbox is full, okay? Facebook is an awesome way where you can keep the engagement, keep the conversation going with people, where you will stay front of mind so that when they do go into their inbox that has 693 emails that are unopened, they'll see one from you and they'll open that one. So that's another really important um, point with getting people to like your page because they'll come over and you'll be able to engage with them. And as I said earlier, Facebook are really loving it when we keep people on the platform. So the strategy of doing a like ad, so getting people to like your page, and then boosting posts to them, which could either be promotional posts or engagement posts as well, will be much cheaper than if you just try and do website conversions, okay? Because the Facebook advertising platform is getting very, very competitive. And Facebook have actually said that they're gonna be running out of ad inventory halfway through this year. So don't panic though. They're looking at other ways that they can incorporate ads, okay? Have you seen messenger ads? Have you seen um, them in your groups now as well? Sponsored ads in your groups, in the video streams. And as people do videos, you'll, you'll be able to have like a 15 second video ad in other videos. It's just all sorts of ways. But back to like ads, I'm sorry, there's just so much in the world of Facebook ads, isn't there? Like ads are a very effective way to build an audience, 
build trust, build relationship. And when you look at it, okay, it might take a bit of working out to find a sweet spot for your like ads. You know, if you can get them down to 20 cents a day or less, that's awesome. And to get there, you're not gonna, prob probably, you're not gonna just get there and do that overnight. It's gonna take some tweaking and testing like all Facebook ads do. You're gonna have to find your audience and find the message that they want to hear that's really gonna resonate and connect with them. But when you do hit that sweet spot and you've got them 20 cents or less, you know, I've had um, like ads recently, I get really annoyed when I see people's webinars and they go, here's my like ads, you know, I've got them down to 13 cents. And they've been showing that same slide for two years. They go, really people, really? Show us some recent data. Okay, so yes, recently, like this year, I have seen like ads down to one cent. Okay, so when you've got your message nailed in and you've got the ideal audience, like ads can be dirt cheap, okay? But you've got to do the work to get there. But then when you do, you will find, when you do want to do website conversion ads, the fans of your page are likely going to be much cheaper than cold audiences, right? So you're doing Facebook, you're doing conversion ads, you know, you want them to come over and opt into something, get your free offer, you know, and lead them to buying your course. If you were to go to a cold audience, right, people who don't know you at all, just target some interests pages and do some ads for them, that will likely cost you, you know, a dollar, $5, $9, whatever it may be, let's just say, you know, $4, okay? It might cost you $4 to get someone's email. If you were to do that conversion ad to fans of your page who have been engaging with you and seeing your posts, they are often to come in much cheaper. You know, that could be $2 a lead or even $3 a lead. So even at $3 a lead and you've spent 20 cents to get them in the first place, you're still ahead. And you know, times that by 100, that really adds up. Okay, so Facebook fans of your page are a warm audience that will often convert at a cheaper price when you're making an offer for them to buy opt-in. They will often convert at a cheaper price than a cold audience, okay? So there is real value in Facebook like ads. So don't just dismiss, dismiss them off as a vanity metric. They're not. An audience on your Facebook page is very valuable. Sure, it's a rented asset. You don't own it like your email list, but it's the progression, okay? It's the progression. We're not just, you know, shouting out to all these people we don't know, hey, come and sign up and join my list. It's like, you know, going on a first date and expecting to jump into bed together. No, there's a bit of courtship involved, and that's where like ads are really good for you to get people to like your page, build that relationship, and then go off and get married and sign up on the email list, okay? So Facebook like ads are very valuable. Give them a go. You're gonna have to test for a bit, test your audiences, test your messages, but when you find that sweet spot, you will really be rewarded. So I hope you've um, great value of that and get a new insight into like ads and give them a go. If there's anyone that you know that's building a Facebook page, feel free to share that to them and um, I'm sure they'll find great value. And if you want more information like Facebook live streaming, how to get going with that because that's another great way to be able to build your audience. Jump over to my website, goldilocksacademy.com and you'll be able to get your Facebook live cheat sheet there. So I hope you have a great day. Enjoy playing with some like ads and I'll see you next time on Facebook. Bye.